Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back in Alaskan Road Truckers. That's right. There is a new patch, a new update. They are awesome in this game when it comes to doing updates. We are doing a long haul just kind of so I can talk about uh, all of the updates they're doing in this recent one. Let's see. We have a little over a thousand miles to go in this haul alone. So it, it's going to be a lengthy trip. Hopefully it goes a lot smoother. Well, I, I spoke too soon. Apparently, I was about to say hopefully it goes a lot smoother than it did in the last episode. If you haven't seen that, uh, it, you ought to go check it out because uh, if uh, something could go wrong, it definitely did. I'll, uh, you know, leave the card right here for you so you can uh, go check that out. It was it was a fun episode. Uh, I, I will say that it uh, definitely gave me a lot to reflect on and look at when uh, when playing it back and doing the recording. It, it was a fun episode to play, but oh my gosh, if it could go wrong, it did. And uh, yeah, just pure chaos in the last episode. So yeah, go, go check it out. It's definitely uh, entertaining. So. Anywho, we are going to do this long trek. We are, and when I say long, we are all the way in Southern Alaska right now, pretty much all the way down here in Palmer. We are going to be going way pretty much to the, as close to as far North as you can, uh, going all the way up here to Prudhoe Bay. There's only one other stop that you can get to that's even further North. Um, but I do need to go ahead and stop for gas up here first before we get too far. Uh, we are at close to half a tank. I don't know what it's going to take, honestly, to get that far. But I figure better safe than sorry. Plus, I want to go ahead and get some coffee just to be on the safe side. Okay. Yeah, that's the gas station directly ahead of us here. We're going to go ahead and fill up the truck. And we're going to get us some coffee just because this is going to be a long trek. It is six o'clock in the morning, so we should have plenty of time to get there before it starts getting dark out. Um, and we are in the tail end of winter here. As you can see, uh, temperature is actually above freezing. Uh, I've actually removed my jacket and I don't think I got the, the cold warning when I got out of the truck. I don't remember. I might have. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that, but I didn't have the shiver thing showing up but but yeah so that means we're gonna start losing our winter time bonus which kind of sucks um i will kind of show here i did have somebody asking about the the fueling in the game so uh, i i've shown it before but the easiest way to do the fuel is you go up to the gas station the amount plus uh you push and hold until the the numbers stop essentially it will only allow you to put uh, however low your truck is. So you do that, then you grab your nozzle and you put it in your gas tank. And then you, it's now just the waiting game for it to refill. Um, but yeah, so going back to the updates, I mean, they have done so many. This is a pretty good update. Uh, can't wait to start talking about all of that. But I do want to go ahead and get a coffee. Oh my gosh, 370 for gas. I'm glad I don't pay that much. Um, go ahead and grab a couple of coffees here. Let's see. So I have learned, because I used to go for the most expensive coffee, because I figured, oh, well, that gives you the most energy. No, the black coffee works just as good. So we'll get a couple of those, because I'll probably, I'm going to drink one right off the bat. Thank you much. And go ahead and get on the road so we can start talking about this. Can I really not walk through that? There we go. Um, but oh my gosh, can't navigate a simple curb. All right, let's get on the road here and make sure. Okay. So let's get turned around and hopefully I don't hit anything else because oh my gosh 
Um, so they did uh, optimization is kind of one of the big things they did as far as the textures, materials, uh, and light maps, the uh, trailers, buildings, and animals. Sorry if I'm swerving. I am trying to read as I drive. You know this is going to be dangerous. So dangerous and entertaining, hopefully. <laughs> um, can't go any worse than the last episode. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's see. The optimization, optimization of towns, including Fairbanks, which is good. I haven't gotten to test it out yet because I know a lot of times I'd travel into Fairbanks and my FPS would drop going into there. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, Palmer, Delta Junction, North Pole, and Paxson. So yeah, we'll have to definitely check out those cities and see how those turned out. Let's see. They did some visual reworks, art improvements to Northern Alaska terrain, reworked the user interface on the map screens. Yes, they did that. That's a huge upgrade. Um, when messing around with the map, number one, you've got the assignment down here, which kind of shows you your trailer, how much your job is and all of that stuff. Uh, you can cancel the order through here now and your default route. Um, and I think it talks about it here in a little bit, but like the zoom function used to be grueling to zoom in and out, but now you can actually zoom in and out quickly. Um, it used to take so much with your mouse going in and out to actually zoom, which was kind of a pain in the ass, but thankfully they fixed that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Reworked the user interface on the map screens, uh, added possibility between, so they added, uh, light and dark UI themes, which I haven't messed with that yet. Uh, the trailer preview. Okay. Yeah. We saw that improved the look of fog. Okay. Made it less dense and lower visual settings. Okay. So, I mean, haven't had the pleasure of messing with that yet, but I mean, I'm sure we will because it seems like almost every day is foggy in this game sometimes. Let's see, added company logo to trailers, reworked the texture of dirt roads, improved the re reflection look on wet grass. Uh, oh, made all the truck skins available on all current truck models. So that's awesome. Uh, lightened up the logistic location and offices reduce the color difference between birch trees. Okay. Uh, reduce the light, improve the colors of the traffic lights. Um, let's see here. Improve the contrast and brightness on selected textures. Balance overall contrast of the game replaced some NPCs with better models. Some trucks having incorrectly applied customization components. Oh, I wonder if they fixed that. So I have the uh, DLCs that you pay for, and you know, like one of the frustrating parts that I kind of restarted the series is because um, I love the truck, but I didn't like the add ons that were on it, and I could not remove them. So I wonder if they fixed that. Hopefully, they did because. Man, I liked using the truck, but I hated the fact that you couldn't take off the extra parts. We'll have to mess with that. And it says, fix the flag flickering. I don't know what that is or exactly, but, you know, they fixed it. So, um, a lot of this may not mean a whole lot to everybody if you haven't played the game. But, uh, if you have played it since, I mean, I've been playing this since day one when it came out and... I mean, I can tell right now just the, like the textures in the trees is so different uh, from the last time I played. Um, even from afar, I can tell that it's been a huge, huge difference. So why are you telling me to do a U-turn? All right. And then going into uh, some of the controls, um, again, going to the map control, increase the map zoom. Uh, added some color, controller presets. Added the possibility to bind and use radio menu on the controller, which again, you know, they're, they're getting closer and closer to getting ready for uh, console release. So I know they just announced that the game is available on Epic Game Store uh, as of what uh, yesterday, the was it the 18th of April? So 
you know, they're they're getting closer and closer to console. I know there are so many people out there waiting for it, and trust me, they want to get it out to you too. Um, so you know, just be patient. They are working on it. They want to get it out to you. Uh, it it will be worth the wait. It's such an awesome game. Um, and again, I mean, they're just making so many updates that oh my gosh, that came out of nowhere. But yeah, just uh, be patient with them. I know they're working hard on it. They want the game to get to you guys as well. Um, let's see, so they added, let's see, enabled scaling truck decals, uh, more controllers with the L1, L2, R1, R2, uh, enabled using truck shop with a controller, tweak controller vibrations, improved communication of binding conflicts, um, you know, controller stuff. I am using a steering wheel and pedals, so a lot of this really does not apply to me, but I'm glad they're doing it and taking care of this stuff. Get around this turn, and then we'll talk about some more changes. Yeah, I, th I don't think I'm doing too bad, considering I'm reading off one screen while trying to drive on another one, so. I mean, I might be driving like I'm drunk. Of course, these are famous last words I'm sure bound to have something go wrong I'm sure um, yeah I mean the scenery is beautiful I, I mean I don't know if this is honestly like one of the first clear days I've had in this game since I've started up this series but I mean yeah the trees are absolutely beautiful right now um, it, it really lo it's made a huge difference in this update um, so let's go to uh, some gameplay changes uh, they adjusted this is uh, an awesome one they adjusted the speed of the AI cars around dangerous turns uh, if you've seen probably my last I don't know uh, probably the last several videos that I've done uh, the AI cars around these snowy turns um, they go pull out I mean they just full send and uh, they wreck which is hilarious but also dangerous because uh, you know it uh, I've had a few wrecking to me for that reason because you know they just don't care that I mean AI which I mean great you know they're going faster which is awesome but yeah they reckon to you and then one you get fined and then two you get cargo damage for it so it's like a double you know you get hit double triple time for it but uh let's see they improved the takeover overtaking behavior of the ai they fixed the traffic and navigation near fairbanks um which yeah fairbanks ai traffic can be kind of uh really odd at times so that's that's a good thing i'm excited to see what that looks like up there now uh, they added 35 and 45 mile per hour signs, which is great because most of these places it goes, you know, it's like driving back roads in the country here in the States. And, you know, it's, you know, speed limit goes from like 55 to 25 and you're like, what the hell happened to everything in between? So yeah, at least they added some middle of the road speeds too. So that's a plus. Uh, let's see. They added a new type of AI car. They added a new trailer. Cement. Cement. Southern draw coming out, I guess. I don't know. Cement tank trailer and new jobs. They made more jobs available during the early stage of the game. So that's awesome. Because you are pretty limited uh, at the first part of the game as it is. So the more jobs you can get, the better. Oh, seriously? I heard him coming up on me too. Made it impossible to die of exposure inside the truck. Ooh, damn it. See, I, sp I said earlier, oh, I'm doing pretty good at driving considering I'm reading on one screen, driving on another. And what happens? Yeah, karma comes around, hits me in the ass. Should have known better. Don't be saying crap like that. So essentially they made it impossible to die in the cab. As long as you've got your heater on, you're not going to die of exposure, which you were actually able to do. That was an actual possibility before. Uh, if you didn't have a jacket on as well, 
it, it was essentially just like you're inside like your heater really didn't do a whole lot at, at least now if your heater's on you'll get cold but at least you won't die so that's that's a huge plus i'm glad they added that and of course my radiator is partially busted so i'm gonna have to stop and uh fix that let's see if we can fix it on the side of the road maybe hopefully i don't get killed while i try to do this please don't run me over let's see if it will let me i may have to grab the toolkit from the inside i don't remember oh no it'll let me sweet here play the little fun mini game to repair I'm glad they make it relatively easy oh and 125 xp that's awesome i will take all the mechanical xp you will give me because i like that that gets me closer to cool stuff at the h the headquarters for sure uh, let's see so what else did they give us they let's see made more fix Fix the collision problem with big boy military chopper trailer. See, I haven't gotten that far yet. I don't have the military job, so I haven't um, had to explore or have that happen to me yet. So I'm sure that was a big issue. I can only imagine. They reworked the traffic ticket calculation uh, system to make the fines more realistic. I don't know if that means they made them higher or lower or what but that sounds kind of scary i know i just got a couple fines but i think one was for like 106 i didn't see what the other one was for so i don't know if realistic is more or less uh they improved the placement of traffic patrol car or police patrol cars the oil overfill is now communicated to the player in the workshop and via a HUD icon. Oh, that's awesome. So now if you do overfill your oil when you fill up your truck, it'll actually show inside the truck, whereas it did not before, because that's really not something that unless you go through and read the guidebook, you know, front to back, which I don't know who does when you play a game, uh, it's not really known that hey you don't fill up the oil all the way it just looks like okay fill to this mark and then you're done which i mean it's i don't know it's common knowledge to some some it's not i learned the hard way you don't fill it up all the way or else you pay the price so i love that we're discovering new places though this is awesome so they also added auto parts stores in Prudhoe Bay and Valdez. That's awesome because there was nothing up in Prudhoe Bay as well as down in Valdez. They added, oh yeah, they added uh, bulbs to the store so you can manually fix the headlights, which I haven't had to do since that but you used to just be able to fix them without having to have headlights so i wonder if now you actually have to have that part in order to fix it so i mean which makes sense i mean you can't usually fix something without the, having the part on hand so uh they enabled previewing trucks in the truck store even without having the required license this is something i've been waiting on because you know one thing that always kind of deterred me from getting the next license for my new trucks is i'm like i don't know what trucks are available if i get my next license you know why get the next level if i don't know what's available and if i don't like it you know what's the point so at least this way um you get to kind of get a sneak peek of stuff so yeah that's cool that they did that that's freaking awesome Let's see, they adjust the fuel capacity of just the fuel capacity of trucks in higher classes. Okay, so I wonder if that means they increase the fuel capacity maybe of the higher level trucks. I mean that would make sense. Oh see, AI car made it around the curve without killing himself. Of course it's not really that bad out. We're I mean still technically below freezing but 
you know, that corner an AI would have slid around no issue before. Um, so let's see what else. I think we're about at the end of the list. So yeah, they just added a few other small things. So for like the sound, they added the sound of uh, swaying grass and twigs breaking when driving on grass surfaces. That's pretty neat little addition right there. And then uh, fixed a rare instance of trucks disappearing from the parking lot. I've had this happen to me once. I just had to reload the game and it was fine. So, you know, it's small stuff that you kind of get used to. But yeah, so it's it's a lot. I mean, it, it's a lot of small things that add up to make this game better and better all the time. Like I said, they're constantly working. They do listen to the community. They're active on Discord. Uh, they, they are an amazing development team. So, you know, I definitely recommend, you know, if you're not on their Discord, get on and join them. You know, just keep in mind, especially if you're waiting on the console, they are working on it. It's just a matter of time before they get to it. They have to have all their ducks in a row before they can release it for console. They're, that's just all there is to it. Uh, in the meantime, you know, enjoy my videos because I'll keep putting them out as long as you guys keep watching them because I love this game. So, uh, but yeah, let's continue on the trip. We are, oh my gosh, this thing still says, hold on. I got to check something because it still says we have over a thousand miles. Oh, well, I think I found a glitch. No wonder it's been telling me to make U-turns. I don't think you've got me in the right spot. Let's see. Set default route. There we go. Hey, stuff is about to happen. I bet they come out with a small patch uh, in the next couple of days. So... So yeah, let's see. We are, yeah, we still have 688 miles to go. We're still over, got over halfway to go. So yeah, let's go get this dropped off. We still have 99% of our cargo remaining. So we're still doing good. Still way better than we were in the last episode. So hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens. So either way, it should be a, a pretty good payout. So I like these long hauls. It gives you lots of experience and pretty good paycheck. Crap, I just realized I still have chains and my grill cover on. Probably want to take that stuff off. Again, let's hope we don't get hit. Definitely don't need the chains. Come on. There we go. Because, yeah, that's not good. Okay, so we already have chains in there. So, we're just going to drop these bad boys. And... Let's take the radiator cover off. And we can store that in there. Okay, now we can get going. Yeah, because we had a little icon show up on the dashboard. But yeah, we should be good. Truck should stay at temp now. And we definitely don't need chains on a dry road. So, yeah, hopefully that didn't do anything to our tires. I think on our way back through, we'll try to get a job through Fairbanks. And um, we'll try to get a new set of tires. You know, it's probably about time, I'm sure. One winter season with the tires we had on there. Hey, we we'll probably put them through abuse. Especially, like I said in the last episode. Yeah, we definitely put them through some abuse for sure. Yeah, I would say it definitely looks like they did a rework on the dirt roads because I don't remember it actually looking like there were, you know, tire marks on the road. I think it was more of a one tone before. So yeah, now it looks more more realistic. Like it's actually been driven on where, you know, you have the, the center line where the tires don't touch and then you have the 
center where the you know traffic goes the center line dividing the traffic between the two ways but yeah that's pretty cool that's yeah the little touches like that that make it more realistic and awesome so just thought i'd show you all that and just look at the trees how they're you know half one color like they're half you know coming into color because springtime is starting you know just the small details like that oh my gosh yeah it's i can i always praise this game and i'm sure i mean just it's so cool that you know the, the small details like that just make it really really cool to me so you know it's the, the little stuff like that that i look at i'm like man that's just so cool but yeah and then, you know, you see trees in the background. Some of them are starting to turn green. Some of them are still, you know, the leaves aren't quite turned yet. So, yeah, it's just awesome. And then as much as I love the, the winter driving in this game, the views are just spectacular once all the snow is off the ground and you start getting the green stuff popping through. I mean, you just you can't beat the views in this game it's so just incredible and they're just making them better and better all the time i, I can't praise them enough it's so amazing so let's keep on going we're about 360 miles away and uh you know thankfully uh not a lot has happened this trip so oh, we got some it's like some grizzlies off to the left we just passed but yeah not too eventful a pretty boring <laughs> um episode I, I guess but exciting for me like i love sharing this with you guys it's too awesome i just i will always just share because you know i i love to i love doing this building the community and hearing what you guys have to say and you know with an update like this it's such a huge thing for this game so i couldn't not not share it with you guys so so yeah you get to share in my excitement all right we have made it to the drop off i think i cut that a little too bad now oh, we can still save it surely um so we are going to back this load in or at least attempt to because we got to get all the money we can for these loads now because we're not going to get this winter uh bonus anymore well we may get a little bit of one i i don't know if we're technically in winter or spring right now but either way the closer you are to spring the lower I know your bonus gets so um it's if we do get a winter bonus i don't think it's going to be the full uh, i think what we're getting like a thousand or something like that before so oh we already got the five nice so we are going to park it let's go ahead and unhook let's get out let's unhook this bad boy let's go get paid so or yeah let's unhook let's get paid yeah i know what i'm doing this is my first day sorry um just so many thoughts going in my head and only one mouth you know some of you know how that works but uh they i guess reworked how the cables work which i can kind of tell a difference because it used to i mean it felt like uh i would have to go across half my desk to Get the cables to go from one socket to the other and they kind of seem to shorten the distance we'll unlock that where do we need to go to get paid over here so yeah they definitely seem to rework that a little bit so that's a plus but oh man you're just hanging out in the hangar all by yourself huh man that must be nice let's see what we get paid for this so yeah 900 dollars ding um oh, i mean oh, still got a 2200 dollar season bonus for mostly clear roads i will take it and a 600 hundred dollar parking bonus which that's about right so yeah i mean that's 10 grand for you know it was it was a thousand miles uh just over a thousand miles for the journey 
So you have to finish the job or you don't get paid. And it did take me, let's see, I'm right about an hour of recording. So it took me just probably just shy of an hour to actually make that entire journey, but we made it. It was, I mean, I hate to say it like this. Um, uh, but again, comparing it to my last trip, it was a pretty boring trip. So, uh, I will take it this one time. I did kind of rattle on about all of the updates, which are awesome. I love the updates they've done. Uh, I know they are probably right back to the grindstone working on the next large update because I know it was only a month ago before they did the previous update. So, you know, I'm sure they're working hard, uh, getting the next update, uh, ready to roll out here pretty quick. So yeah, be definitely looking for that. And that looked like some kind of freaking ray gun from a distance. Anywho, this is where we are going to call it for today. I appreciate you guys watching so much. Thanks for coming by and until next time, bye for now.